So Cody turned 21 this year, and um, we're going to get him a photo of us. I get home and no one's here, um, except Lee. They all had good reasons to be out. And then Lee randomly says, oh, I've got a lot on my mind, don't want to go for a walk. Lee never has anything on his mind, um, nor does he go out for walks. It was weird, I thought it was really weird, but I just left it. Yeah, we just do a lot of poses. And I really only had one for the entire photo shoot. And Cody was none the wiser. The only unfortunate thing is it looks like I'm doing a grey poo, but other than that, the photo looks brilliant. Yes, I'm on. I'm on to my um, fourth fourth car this year. We'll just develop this random habit of just like buying, selling cars, and I've I've tended to go from quite small cars, like a new hobby almost. So I often look like um, Mr. Incredible because um, it's. Yeah, I'm, I'm a rather large gentleman. I, re I really love the, the way Lee tells stories. He's so passionate and he just captures the audience. He gets quite excited about it. Alright, um, okay, this one time. So this one time, in Masterton. He just draws the audience in and they're just hanging off his every word. Um, he's got a Masterton story. You should definitely check it out. I've had a couple of encounters with the police. One was in Masterton and one was right here in, in the airport. Lee has quite a revealing dressing gun. For a man. Drove to the airport, walked into the airport, just wearing his pyjama shorts underneath. Yeah, Lee had like chest hair showing, it was sweet. And just uh, waiting at the gate. And so we fly into the airport, and this cop comes up, and they're just having a nice conversation. And I'm like, oh, yeah, Lee knows the policeman. And um, wanted to make sure he was all there. He quickly found out that he was fine, and that he was just a bit of a weirdo. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on. I thought it was just a joke. Will has one of the funniest eating styles I've ever seen in my life. He doesn't even really think about it, it's just something he, he naturally does. He does it with, yeah, everything. And he'll just, one, and then it, put it in his mouth. Because you don't want the, the um, food coming off a fork. But he even does it, like, when he doesn't have a fork, when he just uses his hands, he does it as well, so. Or if he lets it sit for a while because he's talking to someone, he'll do it again. To me, that's, that's quite, quite practical. Ryan will eat some food, and he'll just close his eyes and... Mmm. Mmm. Like, mmm. Mmm. I don't think any of the sounds I make are inappropriate. I don't see a problem with verbally enjoying food. No matter how, how bland or how, how boring a food is. If everyone was making the sounds that I make while they were eating dinner in the lounge, I imagine that would be quite uncomfortable for visitors. If food's really good, then I'm going to make that known through. Mmm. Oh, man. I like fire. Fire's fun. And I guess initially I was, I was a little bit intimidated. Yeah, I've seen him nearly being engulfed by the flames a couple of times. I mean, almost every other flight I've been, I've always been the fire person. Um, because of my bomb making and farming background. I like to play with the lighter. So he's definitely become a master and a mentor to me in, in that part of my life. But one time it got a little out of hand and... Almost caught the floor on fire. Almost caught the whole roll of toilet paper on fire, actually. So, we're singing Billy Joel's for the longest time. I'm supposed to end on a C, but sometimes I accidentally sharpen that to a C sharp. You keep getting this one note incorrect. That, of course, when singing in B flat, is a tritone with the melody. So he was like, no, it's a tritone with the melody. All of a sudden, everyone just starts laughing. Uh, just because they're like, what the heck is a tritone? Lee's tried to explain to me what what tritone with a melody is and I usually just nod my head and smile and agree. I love powdered juice. We'll make a 2.4 litre bottle of Raro and he'll pretty much just drink the entire thing in one sitting. It's almost like a challenge to him because the, the more juice we make the more he seems to drink. Can't get enough of it, still not sick of it. I've never seen anyone consume that much liquid in my life before and survive. And the whole time like he's going toilet. It was actually just two days ago he actually went to the toilet seven times and like an hour and a half. So if you're thinking of getting me a birthday present, then it's probably bad for my teeth, actually. So don't. So Ryan, before he goes to the toilet, always comes into the lounge and, and just is like, does anyone need to use, anyone need to use the toilet um, for like the next hour? It's one of my favourite things to do in the world. And I'll take books in there. Um, Vinton kind of warned us that he was uh, a roll-of-visit kind of guy. I'm not a roll-of-visit man. I do use a lot per visit, 
but I don't use an entire roll. Whenever we get toilet paper at the supermarket, we get them in packs of 18. And we always have at least two or three of those sitting in the bathroom at one time. And I just found out the other day, actually, why we get that many. There's a, there's a nasty incident in the, in the summer of 2009 where, unfortunately, on one particular evening, we, we ran out of toilet paper. The story behind that is quite amusing. And I had to resort to other methods involving warehouse catalogues. I like the flat. My room's way tidier. A little bit confused as to why people need to use seven cups each a day. Very similar vision and goals in life. Flat life is good. I'd quite like to smash some more cups so maybe we could, wouldn't have to wash them all the time, but other than that, it's great.